and like I said, like around 80. Uh, Sophia's a medium weight character, so like you get kills. So like things do. like down B into neutral B. Oh, but like a kill, so you can do things like last hit a neutral air into down air. As you can see, What's like up, gamers? So we're back with another character guy, and today is everybody's favorite Snow Yeti and snowboarder, my man Miko. Now Miko's a heavy character. He's also a powerhouse, so he benefits from rage. That's his unique mechanic. But he's also very fun. He's very agile and very free, free flowy for him to be a heavy character. So let's just kind of hop straight into the guy and let's start off with his specials. All right, so Miko's specials are actually pretty basic. They're not very like advanced. He's got some pretty good specials all around actually and they actually like come in clutch for getting like early kills on opponents. So let's just pop off. His neutral special is the star charge. And as you can see, if you hold B, he charges the star on his chest and it becomes fully charged. Now basically this fully charged hit does 33. Yeah, 33 from a fully charged move. And basically like you charge it up. If you get hit while charging, you'll be interrupted. You can also cancel out of the charge so you don't have to fully charge it up. You also like jump, charge, cancel, jump, charge. You could kind of do that to like charge it up. It is basically just a really good move. The hitbox on it is very, very big at 60%. If you get a hit, you can like get a very early kill. I mean, as you saw there, I hit Sophia at like 70 and she died. Like even on the edge of the stage, you can hit like 60, yeah, because it just does so much damage and it's not a slow move. It comes out fairly fast. As you can see, it's a very, very good move to like, if you're catching like a roll read, like on the edge of the stage, you can kind of like dash back, turn around a neutral beat and like take opponents out. Or even if you can catch one like off stage at like an early percent, I turned it around. <laughs> I was gonna say, if you can catch one off stage at like an early percent, people will die even earlier. It's just a very, very good move. Like I say, early percent kill, if you can get like knock an opponent off stage and you have the chance to charge it, definitely charge it. And even the non charged one does 13%. So even if you can't go for the fully charged one, the non charged one still has a pretty like good amount of knockback because uh, you can hit someone with it off stage as you can see and it'll probably knock them a very good distance so that they can't recover in that situation just a very very good move if to like catch your opponent by surprise and if you have that read and you hit that neutral b you can take tons of damage because that hitbox is crazy and the damage it does is also very ridiculous so let's hop into his down b so miko's down b is a snowboard slam and as you can see it has very, very little in lag after it in the sky. So you see down B, jump again, down B, jump again. The thing is, if you don't jump, he gets landing lag. So as you can see, down B jump to like kind of get out of the landing lag. And if you just down B, he has to go like from a landing animation. So it has very, very high in lag if you don't jump. But you can go down B, jump, and then down B again. The thing about this is you can go jump, down B, double jump, and forward air and do things like that. Another good thing about this down B is it buries, as you can see right there. So you can do things like, if you have a neutral B charge, you can do things like down B into neutral B for like a kill confirm. That's if you can hit a down B. So like, kind of like I said, if you're going for, a, going for a roll read, you can even dash away, turn around and down B. Another good thing about this move is on startup, you see that orange glow? It has heavy armor. So it takes one hit of heavy armor. So if you feel like your opponent's about to throw a move, you can down B, take the hit, and then basically bury them and get the free punish afterwards. It's a really, really good move. Not something you could just throw out though, because it does have very, very high end lag, as you can see right there. It's also not safe on shield. Another thing about this down B is in the sky, it spikes, as you can see right there. So down B is a very, uh, if basically if you have like a read, you can like kind of dash back and, you know, basically down, uh, down special. I'm saying down B because it's been on my controller, but basically like down special, he doesn't really have a combo into it because it takes so long to come out. But if you hit it, you get a lot of damage. So let's go into his side special. Side special, Miko turns into a snowball and starts rolling, as you can see in 
you can hit opponents with it. And it basically does damage and has pretty good knockback too. This is also a kill move at higher percentages. Opponents have to watch out for it because when you hit them with this, it kind of rolls them to the ledge. So it's a very good landing mix up. Like if you like jump forward air, double jump, side B, opponents are like going for a parry. So they'll drop shield on the first hit and get hit by the rest. So it's a very good mix up option. This move is also not safe on shield. As you can see right there, it did kill on the edge at like 80, but it's not safe on shield. So you can't just side beat onto opponents like that and expect to get away with it. Another thing about this move is as you can see, at the beginning, it has that orange glow. It's very quick, very fast. But the beginning of this move also has heavy armor, just like his down beat because of this orange glow right here. So you can tank one move if your opponent like collides with you. Very, very good move to like just kind of mix things up. Uh, it's also a very good move in recovering with Nico because you could side B to get closer to the ledge and then double jump and up B from like uh, basically in higher positions. You just kind of side B and then up B. So it's very good to help you get back closer to the ledge because it does carry you a great distance forward and it lets you move forward while being a hitbox instead of just jumping for it and hoping that you don't get hit. You kind of force your opponent to either collide with the hitbox or just straight up beat it. So it's a very, very good recovery mix up tool. Gets you pretty far if you don't want to like waste your double jump. It kind of puts you in that good spot right there but by the edge so you can up B. So that's, that'll just about do it for his side B. Like I say, Nico's specials are fairly simple. Nico's a fairly simple character. How That's usually how most heavies are. So we've talked about down B, side B, and neutral B. Let's talk about his up B or his up special. Nico's up special, he hops on the snowboard and basically spins upwards, as you can see right there. And you can also influence the direction of this upbeat. So this is straight up. This is to the side. As you can see, he kind of moves to the side. So that's forward, and this is backwards, as you can see right there. Another thing to note that with his upbeat, if you're up being someone and you hold forward, they will move through you and get knocked in the opposite direction. So if you're trying to knock them in a specific direction, you have to up B and hold back so that they don't like fly through you. Kind of like that. That's if you're like you're really you're rarely edge guarding with his up B. But if you are like, I guess you know, kind of being disrespectful and like kind of going for an edge guard with his up B, that's something you can do. Uh, yeah, I was like jab will kill. Uh Miko has very, very good kill options. But that'll really just about do it for his up B. Another thing to note is when he does it in the air, he kind of explodes upwards. So that explosion upwards kind of like gives him like an extra boost. So you can up B and grab the ledge before it ends, or you can up B, let it in and float towards the edge. Miko's up B has some very, it like has very, very good mix ups. As you can see, you can come from the side because when you do it in the sky, you have very, very good like horizontal mobility. You also have very, very good upwards mobility when you're in the sky. So you can mix up your up B recovery by like going to the spot here, going low, as you can see right there, and just going straight up, kind of like that. Or if your opponent thinks you're going to go to that specific spot, you can come from the side. So Miko's up B is very, very versatile, but it's not super good because it can still be edge guarded because it's fairly slow. As you can see right there, opponents can just kind of like down air you or characters like Sophia can counter you and stuff like that. But it's a very, very good option. Very, very good disrespectful option and a good mix up recovery option. So that'll do it for all of his specials. Let's go into his A moves. Now, Miko's A moves or his attack moves are actually fairly good. I mean, as you've seen, like I gotta kill with jab. His moves kill very, very early. So let's just start off with his jab. Miko's jab is a three hit jab. This hitbox is actually fairly big because if opponents are behind you, you'll also hit them behind you, as you can see right there. It's a very, very good tool for setting up because if opponents DI it the wrong way, it can set up for tech chases. If you hit the back hitbox, it sets up for tech chases more reliable. It's just all around a very good, like, kind of get off me tool if you like block and mash out jab 
as you can see, if your opponents aren't holding up, they get knocked into tech situations for like follow-ups and things like that at higher percentages on the edge of the stage. You can get kills from it. As you can see, the knockback on it is very, very good. So that'll just about do it for Miko's jab. And also, it's fairly safe, like not safe on shield, but your opponent has to be ready to punish that last hit because as you can see, you kind of just spam out jab. It's very fast, very quick. And then like I say, the fact that it does kill on the edge of the stage at certain percentages makes it, a very, makes it a very, very good tool. It also has decent range. Like you don't have to be up on your opponents to hit them. You can actually be quite a distance away and still get the jab. It has very, very good range. Miko has very, very good limbs, <laughs> but he is big character, so it's understandable. So let's go into his down attack or what I would call his down tilt. Miko spins around as you can see right there. Now the thing about this move is the knockback angle on it is crazy because it knocks like, like horizontal, but it knocks very low horizontal. It also has enough knockback to kill. And also the hitbox on this move is pretty big. Like it reaches below the ledge. I don't know if I'll be able to get Sophia because I think her up B always hits like above the ledge before I can get the chance to hit. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to get it on Sophia. But on certain characters, and as you can see, down tilt also kills. <laughs> but on certain characters on their recovery, you'll definitely see it in like some of the guide matches. You can just kind of down tilt them like below the edge when they're recovering because this move's hitbox is actually very, very big and reaches very far below the edge. It reaches also reaches very far outwards, as you can see right there. And you don't really have to space it so it's not like you have to be in a specific spot to hit the ledge you just kind of stand on the ledge and when your opponent up bees or like tries to recover you just down tilt and the angle that it knocks them away it'll most likely kill them because it knocks them at a low sideways angle and that'll just about do it for down tilt it's a full-on hitbox around him so you can hit four like opponents in front of you and you can also hit opponents behind you with it because it's just a full-on circle and as you saw right there, it hit like a little bit below the edge. That's what I was talking about. So Miko's down tilt is very good to like catch people who are trying to recover. Very, very good. And the hitbox is actually pretty, pretty big, as you can see right there. So let's go into Miko's up attack, or I would say up tilt. This is the thing that kind of puts Miko overboard. This move right here, it, a, it's a two hitting move. So it's a grounded hitbox into a tipper hitbox. As you can see, the star is the sweet spot and his arms are a grounded hitbox that carries into the sweet spot. Now, the reason why this move is crazy is because on certain characters, Sophia might be a little bit too heavy, but like at 80, you can hit an up tilt and yeah, get a kill because it carries into the sweet spot. The sweet spot on this up tilt is so crazy if you hit that star. And then off the rip, it does 23%. So that's actually very, very wild. And just hitting the sweet spot has so much launch on it. And like I said, like around 80, uh, Sophia's a medium weight character. So like you get kills. So like you can do things like parry into up tilt or get like a roll re into an up tilt. You can get a very, very early kill. The thing about this move is it's not safe on shield and it's not the safest. As you can see, I have a fair amount of end lag when throwing it out, I have to like fully wait till the animation ends. But if your opponent like throws something unsafe on your shield, you get a parry and you just kind of like up tilt out of shield, you get big damage, 23%. And if they're like around 70 to 80, you might even get a kill because they're not ready to DI. Like even you saw right there, like around 60, it almost killed Sophia. And at 80, it definitely does. It's a very, very strong move. And this move right here is kind of like what sets Miko like apart from the other heavy characters. This move is so strong, so good. So we've talked about his up tilt, we talked about his down tilt, we talked about his jab. Let's talk about his forward strong. Miko's forward strong is a snowboard swing. As you can see, he winds the snowboard up and he swings. This forward strong is actually really good. It's not safe on shield, so even if you space it, your opponent has a chance to like punish it. But it has really good range, as you can see right there. And since he swings the snowboard in an arc, it also hits fairly high upwards. I'm um, not sure if I could get Sophia to jump. Let's see if I can down air. And it also kills very early. So getting a read with this forward strong is very, very good because it has very good launch 
it's really, really hard. And as you can see, kind of like all of other Miko's moves, it kills super early on the edge of the stage. A very, very good move if you have a read for it. I know a lot of the other characters, a lot of the other characters, I was saying their four stones weren't that good. Miko's isn't safe, but if you could hit this, it's definitely worth it. And remember, his down B buries, so you could bury opponents and forward strong into them. Um, depending on your opponent's percentage, they can uh, bounce out of berry earlier. So getting uh, berries at earlier percentages aren't good, but at higher percentages, they'll be kind of forced to like stay in the ground. They do have to mash out, but if they don't mash out in time, you can get things like forward strong for easy kills. So that'll do it for Miko's grounded A moves. Let's talk about Miko's aerials. Miko's aerials are actually fairly good for him to be a big character. They're really good. The hitboxes on them are very, very big. And just like all of his other moves, they do kill. So let's just hop straight into it. We're going to start off with probably Miko's best aerial, his neutral air. As you can see, Miko's neutral air is just him spinning his arms. This neutral air covers a lot. As you'll see in the character guides, you'll see me jumping opponents in neutral air because you can kind of jump neutral air and then double jump neutral air. And landing on with the last hit of neutral air actually gives you combos. So you can do things like last hit of neutral air into down air, as you can see right there. Or you can do things like last hit of neutral air, up percents aren't high enough, because you, but you could do last hit of neutral air into another neutral air. You can do last hit of neutral air into forward air. Um, as I showed, last hit of neutral air into down air. The, uh, and this is basically a buff, as you can see right there, that they gave Miko to basically make his neutral air more of a combo tool. And it works out for him so well because his move just covers so much. Like your opponents can't jump it. They can't jump at it. So this coupled together with like his forward air and coupled with like the mix up of like landing down B like that, like that's just really, really good for Miko. And a lot of, as you can see right there, neutral air forward air. In a lot of matchups, you'll definitely see me spamming for um, neutral air because, like, hitting with it just gives you those free combos and gives you those free setups that Miko definitely needed. Because this is a buff. His neutral air used to not do this, but this is a very, very good buff that he did need. You, need. you can even do situations where you can knock opponents off stage, fall off in neutral air, and double jump into a forward air or double jump into like another neutral air. Like, his neutral air comboing is so good for him. Very, very good tool for him to have. So, we talked about neutral air. Let's talk about forward air. And as you can see right there, forward air is actually really crazy with Miko. It has a lot of good range, as you can see right there. It's just kind of like a forward swipe. Pretty good range. If you space it, it's really hard for opponents to punish. It also kills. You can throw out three in a double jump, as you can see right there. And you can just kind of throw it and fade back, as you can see right there. Just kind of throw it out and fade back. And if you throw it out and fade it back, it'll actually be a lot safer on shield. This forward air just hits really hard. There's no sweet spot to it. So whether you hit them up close or whether you hit them far away, you still get the end result. And basically, it kills really early. And you can just kind of throw it and fade back, as you can see right there. Just kind of throw it out and fade back. And if you throw it out and fade it back, it'll actually be a lot safer on shield. This forward air just hits really hard. There's no sweet spot to it, so whether you hit them up close or whether you hit them far away, you still get the end result. And basically, it kills really early if you hit like opponents on the edge of the stage with it. And then you can also combo into it from neutral air. So that means you can do things like neutral air into forward air to get kills on the edge of the stage. And you can pressure opponents on the edge of the stage with forward air. And like hitting a forward air at like 95, as you can see right there, Next, you will kill. So Miko's forward air is all around very, very good. Kind of throw it out. You can pressure opponents. And since it ends so fast in the sky, you can do things like forward air, double jump neutral air, forward air, double jump down air, forward air, double forward air to falling neutral air, at, to like combos like that. Like, it's just a very, very good tool. Now, let's talk about Miko's back air. Miko's back air is not... It's not super crazy. You won't be throwing out this back air as much as you throw out forward air because back air does have more end lag and it is less safe on shield. And if you land with it, as you can see, he kind of like lands and lays on the ground. But back air does hit really, really hard and does set up for some really, really good kills. If you hit it like on the edge of the stage, see like at 
55. Pretty good knockback. If you catch it off the edge of the stage, you'll get a kill. You'll fairly, you'll very rarely see me use like back air because forward air is just so much better and forward air kill is just as good as back air. Back air is just, if you have the back air, you go for the back air. That's really just about it. But you'll mainly be going for forward airs, but hitting a back air can get you a good, can get you a kill at higher percentages anywhere on the stage because back air does have more launch than forward air and back air does hit really really hard as you see it's not a move that you want to like take too lightly as you can see right there back air is really really crazy so let's go into miko's down air miko's down air is actually really crazy it's a spike downwards as you can see right here another thing about this down air is it reaches fairly low below the stage. As you can see right here, you can kind of stand on stage and down air. That hits fairly low below the stage and it'll catch opponents who are trying to recover and spike them downwards. It's a really hard spike, a really hard hitting spike. Like you kind of spike opponents at like around 60 and they'll die. Uh, it also has a non-sweet spot. Let's see if I can get it. Nope, I got the spike. <laughs> it's really hard, but it has a non-sweet spot, which is kind of in front of it, that doesn't spike. It knocks away the knock. As you can see right there, there's the uh, knock away sweet spot. It's really hard to get because the sweet spot on it is so big, but it does have a soft spot. And as you can see, it just hits really, really hard. And you can also combo into this move from down here, as I've shown before. It's just a very, very good spike to get um, on opponents that have to come straight up. You can just jump off backwards and down air because it reaches so far down. This move is actually really good. And on characters that have to come straight up, you can just kind of sit on the edge, jump and down air like below the ledge to catch the recovery. And if you hit a down air at like 40 on some opponents, they die at 40 because the down air is so strong. As you can see, like <laughs> the down air is really, really crazy. And it's also very fast, so it's not like you have to wait for it to charge up. So, we talked about down air, we talked about forward air, we talked about neutral air. Let's talk about Miko's up air. So, Miko's up air is kind of like a grounded version of his up tilt, which is basically an upwards clap. So, just like his up tilt, it has a sweet spot, which is the start, as you can see right there. And you want to hit this start. It's really hard to hit this start very very hard like it's not easy to hit the star on his up air as you can see right there like it seemed like Sophia was in the sweet spot but she wasn't and the thing about this just like his up tilt it's really really strong right as you can see right there so if you hit the star on somebody in the sky you get, you can get a kill fairly early because the star on it hits really really hard you just you know gotta get it it's a fairly hard hitbox to get it also has a sour spot, which is basically the side, as you can see right there, the side uh, parts of his hands, and it kind of like knocks away. It doesn't act like his up tilt where it like combos into the sweet spot, and I feel like if his up air comboed into the sweet spot, he would be absolutely broken, but it doesn't. So now you just kind of like have to space it out and get the read on the up air. That's if you really want to go for up air, because in situations where you can up air, you can full hop neutral air to get combos into forward air. So that'll basically do it for his aerials. Let's talk about Miko's grab. Now, Miko's grab, both his forward throw and his back throw are basically basic knockaway moves. They basically get opponents away from you. That's just about it. But the thing about both of these grabs is both of these grabs are kill throws. Yes, Miko is one of the few characters that has a killing forward throw in a killing back throw as you can see with forward throw here we get a kill at 100 on the edge of the stage of course that was with no di but it's still a killing throw and then back throw is even a kill throw just like forward throw as you can see you'll probably see the launch here it won't kill at 65 but the launch angle from it is actually very very ridiculous as you can see right there then kill at 80, but it almost got a kill at 80. So maybe if you grab somebody like around 90, yeah, dead at 90. So like having two kill throws is really good because Miko is a very, very big character on pressure. 
So he pressures opponents to sit and shield so he can get those free grabs, throw them off the stage and charge up neutral B. And then even being able to get kills from those two grabs are very good. And like I said before, Miko is a rage character. So the more percentage Miko has, the stronger and earlier his moves will kill and the stronger his moves will be. So that'll do it for his grabs. Let's talk about Miko's combos. So Miko's combos aren't, like he doesn't have too many. He's a very straightforward, like hit for hit character. Like you'll take your neutral exchanges and kind of like run with it. Your, um, all of his moves push opponents to the edge of the stage. So you won't be doing crazy things like forward air to forward air to forward air or down air to double jump down air and things like that. His main combo tool and probably his only combo tool is neutral air. As, you, as I've shown before. So in certain situations, you will get things like, uh, let's see, neutral air into neutral air, or you'll get things like neutral air into forward air, or you'll get certain situations like neutral air into down air. But those aren't situations that you can like bank on winning a match for. They're kind of like situations where you, like if your opponent's jumping, you intercept them with neutral air, and if the neutral air hits, you get the combo from it, as you can see right there. So, for his combos, neutral air will be his main combo tool. At lower percentages, lower percentages, you could do neutral air to grab. You could do neutral air. Oops, didn't get my dash. But uh, you could do neutral air and to grab. And basically, you could just kind of rinse and repeat that until they're high enough for you to do things like neutral air into forward air or neutral air into down air. And that's basically just about it for his combos because the rest of his moves will be like single hit moves. It'll be damage that you get from grab. As you can see, his grab does like 12 to 13% for back throw and also for forward throw. So you'll basically be getting a lot of your damage from like straight hits of forward airs, straight jabs, uh, basically up tilts and back throws. And like I say, if you happen to land a neutral air, you just kind of go for the confirm after landing and hitting that neutral air, which isn't hard to hit because this hitbox is crazy. It's fairly crazy, fairly wild, which is why I thought it was crazy when they allowed, like gave it more combo potential. I really thought that was kind of like a lot. Didn't really think he needed it, but hey, they gave it to him and I'm not complaining because I love the fact that this Nair combos, as you can see, like I, I really love doing that. <laughs> so that'll do it for his combos. Let's talk about his neutral. So Miko's neutral is fairly you dashing back and forth, intercepting jumps with neutral air, and taking grab to throw punishes. Basically spacing with forward airs. You don't really want to space with back air. You want to space with forward airs, as you can see right there, and just kind of like land on opponents with neutral air. And if you hit the neutral air, you get the combo and follow up after. Another thing is when you're trying to land on opponents with neutral air, you never want to fall at them with neutral air. You always want to neutral air and fall backwards. That way it will be a little bit harder to punish and it will be a little bit more safe on shield. You never want to fall at them with neutral air because this move is punishable on shield. So if your opponent is blocking, just kind of fall back and space with neutral air instead to force those situations, as you can see right there. So that'll do it for his neutral. Let's talk about kill confirms. As you've seen in the, basically throughout the guide, his main kill confirm will be neutral air. And you always want to go for like that last hit of neutral air because the other hits kind of like pop up. The last hit of neutral air is what gives you like the combo, like the combo potential. Basically just aiming for that last hit kind of gives you the forward air on the edge of the stage. It also gives you the down air on the edge of the stage. Just aiming for that last hit of neutral air is very, very good. Because as you saw right there, if you get multiple hits, they get knocked too far. Uh, also landing with the back hit of neutral air is very good because the back hit kind of like has less launch than a front hit. But that'll basically do it for kill confirms. His other kill confirms kind of come from landing a down B, which like I said before, you won't land too often because it's not that safe. It's not something you're gonna like throw out all the time. It's just kind of like if you have a read, you land a down B. That's really just about it. Most of his kill confirms are gonna come from his neutral air because you'll do things like neutral air into forward air, as you can see right there. 
just landing neutral air into forward air or on the edge of the stage landing like neutral air into down air those are going to be like his main kill confirms outside of landing a down beat that'll really just about do it for kill confirms it's basically neutral air forward air and neutral air down air and getting a parry into up to it which is a legit kill confirm because at 80 people will die now i'm going to put you on to some secret tech this is not a true kill confirm it is by no means true but what happens is a lot of opponents in this game when they get jabbed they start DIing for the jab because they're expecting for miko to finish the jab like that so what you'll see me do in a lot of matches is i'll you'll see me go jab one to neutral b and it's not true whatsoever your opponent has to be ready because after the first jab one they can shield but if they don't shield they get a neutral b and also if they're automatically blocking jab one to neutral b on shield automatically breaks shields also so it's a very very good setup for opponents that are just sitting in shield and it's also a very good setup to catch opponents in like a very fast situation like you know your opponent are jumping around each other throwing out buttons throwing out aerials and you just kind of get a parry into a jab neutral b just to see if they're ready or to see you know to see if they're ready to block or to see if they're ready to like double jump or air dodge because a lot of opponents aren't ready to do anything after taking that first hit a lot of opponents just kind of like take the first hit and say well let me get ready to take the other three so they don't block or do anything and they just take the neutral beat so you'll see me do that in a lot of matches it's not a true kill confirm but it is a very very good check to see if your opponents are ready and to see if they're preparing for the third jab automatically so that'll basically do it for the miko guide like i said like this was a lot shorter than other ones because miko's a fairly straightforward character like i say you'll be taking like those individual neutral exchanges and taking those early kills when you can't get them. miko is a very very fun character to play he's not the craziest and not the best but if you do play him in a good way you can beat a lot of the characters in this game i mean that goes for just about every character but don't feel discouraged about playing a big heavy character against combo characters or like fast fast characters or anything like that because miko has that absurd kill power to keep up with them so that'll do it i hope the guy helps and i also oh i thought <laughs> i was wondering if he had like a uh, a slow walk animation i realized a lot of characters have like unique slow walk animations but i hope the guy helps and if it does like i always say leave a like comment subscribe down below i will catch you guys in the next one Bye.